Good morning everyone. I am Meghla, Department of BCA, Asia College of Arts and Science for Women, Kichangur. Today I am going to share a few things about computer network. In that computer network, um, we are going to discuss uses of computers and uh, network hardware and reference model. First we are going to discuss uses of computers. In that uses of computers, there are three uh, subtitles are there, business application, home application and uh, mobile users. First one is business applications. Uh, it is uh, applicable when the client and server are both in the same building. For example, uh, belongs to the same company but also when they are far uh, apart. Uh, these are the examples. One uh, server machine are there and uh, uh, one client and uh, two or more clients are there. They are connecting uh, through the network. For example, when a person at home access a page on the world wide web, the same model is employed with a remote web server being the server and the user's personal computer being the client. Under most conditions, one server can handle large number of clients. Next, uh, next figure is the client server model involves request and reply. One on the client machine and one on the server machine. Communication tasks the form of the client process sending message over the network to the server process. The client process then waits for a reply message. When the server process gets the request, it performs the requested work or looks up the requested data and sends back a reply. Uh, so the client machine requests to the uh, server machine and uh, through the network, uh, the server machine replies to the client machine through the network. So this is the example for client server model. Next, home appliances. Some of the more popular uses of the internet for home users are as follows. First one is access to remote information, which means that it comes in many forms. Example, uh, business, cooking, art, government, health, history, sports, travel and many others. Next one, person to person communication and interactive entertainment and finally electronic commerce like e-commerce. And uh, this is the example for peer to peer system. There are no fixed clients. There are many clients and many servers are there. Another type of person-to-person -person communication often goes by the name of peer-to-peer -peer communication to distinguish it from the client-server model. Uh, the difference is uh, there are many clients are there and uh, many servers are there. This is the difference uh, to the peer-to-peer uh, -peer system and the client-server model. Some form of e-commerce. E-commerce in uh, uh, it shows many varieties. First one is business to consumer. For example, uh, for business to consumer is ordering books to the Flipkart or Amazon like that. And second one is business to business. And third, general to govern, uh, government to consumer. And uh, fourth one is consumer to consumer. And finally, peer to peer. Peer to peer uh, examples are uh, I already showed. Uh, this is the peer to peer uh, system. Next, mobile users. Mobile computers such as notebook computers and personal digital assessment are one of the fastest growing segment of the computer. So we are using uh, notebook computers, uh, for example, personal computers nowadays. And uh, our second topic is network hardware. There are two types of transmission technology that are in widespread use. They are as follows. First one is broadcast links and second one is point-to-point -point links. So uh, classification of interconnected processor by scale, uh, this is the difference. First one, personal area network. Uh, uh, nowadays we are using uh, more than uh, uh, lakh and lakh personal computers. So personal area networks uh, distance is 1 meter. In local area network distance is 10 meter. Uh, in a building, 100 meter. In a campus, 1 meter, 1 kilometer. And um, metropolitan area network. For example, uh, in a city, uh, the distance of the metropolitan area network is 10 kilometer. 
and wide area network it is used in the country or continent it is more than 100 kilometers and 1000 kilometers and uh, in our, the internet distance is over the planet it is uh, more than 10000 kilometers first one local area network this is the example for local area network one cable is connected with more than one computer so it is called lan it is connected through the lan local area network and uh, this is the example for uh, local area network uh, it is called a ring it connected through the cable more than one computer next metropolitan area network so it is uh, simply called man it covers the city the best example for man is cable television so this is the uh, metropolitan uh, area networks uh, example uh, through the cable tv so one antenna is there and uh, on head end this is the connected network for uh, through the uh, internet and the antenna and uh, uh, one junction box is there it is connected in many houses so this is the example for metropolitan area network and finally wide area network it is simply called wan it spans a large geographical area of a country or continent it contains a collection of machines intended for running user for example application users and uh, this is the uh, example for wireless network for example bluetooth so bluetooth is the best example for wireless network modern digital wireless systems have better for performance but the basic idea is the same okay? that is one base station and uh, this is not uh, connected to the wire it is connected uh, to the cloud uh, finally, we are going to discuss reference model, simply called as OSI model. So, there are seven OSI layers are there. First one is physical, second data link layer, third one network layer, fourth one transport layer, fifth one session layer, and sixth one presentation layer, and seventh one is application layer. This is the important part in the computer network. So, these are the important OSI layers. So, the physical uh, layer is used to connect the systems to the router. And data link uh, layer is used to flip into the frames. And uh, network layer, it have on uh, subnet, uh, it is used to uh, connect the frames into the packet. And transport layer, the transport layer is used to transform our packet through the internet. The session protocol is used to check whether there is the error or uh, there is a, a problem in the uh, our packet or our message. The presentation layer is used to present our protocol, our protocol and application layer is finally check the uh, our content, uh, our uh, data or our packets uh, finally, these uh, seven layers are used to uh, transform our message to client to server. So, these are the intermediate process to the internet. So, we are already discussed the physical layer is concerned with transmitting raw bits over a communication channel. And uh, the data link layer is to transform a raw transmission facility into a line that appears on free undetected transmission errors to the network layer. So, it is uh, the correct reset of the each frame by sending back an acknowledgement frame. So, this is the main task of uh, data link layer. Next, uh, network layer, it controls the operation of the subnet. If uh, too many packets are present in the subnet at the same time, they will get in one another way forming a bottleneck and next one is transport layer this layer is to accept data from above speed to up into the smaller so and uh, pass to the network layer and ensure that the pieces all arrive correctly 
Next one, session layer. It allows users of different machines to establish 